All right, guys. So you want to mount a red dot sight to your Red Rider BB gun. I'm going to teach you how to do it, or at least how I did it. Obviously, there's a bunch of different ways you could probably go about doing this. Um, and some of the methods that I used here, you could probably use with different rails or whatever. Everything that I had, I had laying around, so I just made it work. First thing you need is a rail of some sorts. This is off of a 1022. It's a UTG tactical low profile rail mount for Ruger 1022 raffle. Um, it's just a low profile, cheap aluminum rail. It's probably $10 on Amazon. You can probably find the exact same one. <clears throat> it's like four and a half inches long or so. So you got your rail, you need your red dot. This is also a Amazon cheapy, probably one of those $30 ones. Uh, this is a NC Star. Had it laying around, had it for a while. Then you're gonna need a couple drill bits. So we have an 11 seconds drill bits, drill bit, and an 11 64th drill bit. Then you're also gonna need a file with a rounded edge on it, or a grinder of some sorts to grind the metal down, and then a drill, and a couple tap screws. So these are, I think they're like half inch long, just black tap screws. I found them on a, uh, got them off of a residential job site. I don't know. I'm sure you can get them at Home Depot for really cheap. So the first thing we want to do for this rail to work, because of it being so long and you don't, you don't have to cut it if you don't want to. I was going to originally cut it and then just tap right to the receiver, but I thought, hey, why don't we utilize this screw at the back of the receiver that holds the stock in place. And then it's the perfect length because it'll sit right behind the pin here and you'll be using this screw here to hold your rail in place. Okay? So first thing you want to do is you're going to take this, this screw out. Okay? Now, in order to use these screws in this rail, we got to ream out the holes in the rail. So I take your 11 64ths bit or a similar size. You could always, you know, measure it up. I don't know if this is exactly 11 64ths, but this is the bit that I had laying around in it. So perfect size. So you're going to drill through your rail with your 11 64ths bit to make these holes big enough for your screw to go all the way through. Okay, like so. And then what you want to do is take your 11 30 seconds bit and countersink these holes so that all of these screw heads will sit just about flush in the rail, like so. So you'll have that much thread going through into the top of the receiver and uh, pretty flush, pretty good. Okay, so once you have that all taken out, and you have your holes drilled and it's countersunk. Another thing that you have to do is you have to round out the bottom of the rail. Since a 1022 receiver is pretty flat on the top compared to a red rider, what I did was I took this file with the rounded side and just filed back and forth, uh, do it for a couple minutes, check the fitment of it, do it again, switch sides, do whatever you gotta do so that the curvature is deeper on the underside of the rail so that it sits. It just has a better fitment on top of the receiver here so it doesn't wiggle so much. And once you get the screws in, it's really not going to wiggle at all because it's a red rider. Um, strictly for entertainment purposes, you know, you're not taking this thing to war, so it's not like a super big deal. <laughs> okay, so once you have, you got your rail done, right, all filed off on the bottom, you got your holes reamed out, and then you have them countersunk for your tap screws. At this point, it's pretty simple. You're just going to put your rail on top of the BB gun, okay? And then you're going to screw in your long stock screw. Okay? I'm just going to snug that up. Now you got to be really careful using these tap screws um because if you ever tighten them, you're just going to strip it out and it's going to be completely useless. So at this point what I did was I have this screw in and it's tight. And then I actually used the pin over here to check 
to make sure that the rail is sitting straight on top of the rifle because that pin is in the center. So you can just double check to make sure that the rail is sitting center. And then I took a punch, which I forgot to mention you might need. You really don't. You could just use the tap screws, but the punch makes it a little bit easier. Pardon. Take your punch, 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 punch your three holes in the center just so you give your, yourself a easier starting point for these screws. And then you take your screws and then you tap them down. Nice and easy. Don't over tighten them. I'd also recommend putting Loctite on these at some point, but I'm not going to do that right now because this thing is going to get taken down and taken apart multiple times before I'm done with it. So now that you have your rail on, it's pretty simple. Now you have your rail completely mounted up. Looks pretty good, I'd say. What I'd recommend at this point is to, once you have your tap screws in, take it back off because you're going to have a lot of uh, like sharp metal shards sticking out of the top of the receiver from when the tap screws went in. File those down, then reattach it. Lock tight your screws if you so please. And, uh, and now, just come back with your red dot here. I don't know if I loosen this screw up. And uh, before you know it, Uno minuto, por favor. <laughs> Before you know it, you got yourself a red dot mounted on your Red Rider BB gun with fairly decent fitment for uh, not really having to spend any money on my end. I mean, it might cost you like, I don't know, 30 bucks for the rail and the, and the, uh, and the cheap red dot. I also don't know how, it's go how well it's going to be sighted in, but... Again, it looks looks pretty badass, so um, I think that we'll be able to get it pretty close. But uh, I'll let you know in a future video, because upcoming we're going to be doing some more mods to this BB gun. I plan on um, painting the receiver in the barrel, making a bigger shoulder stock for this also, because it's got to have a little bit of a raised cheek weld, I think, so uh, for the red dot, working better. Now I'm going to sand it and stain everything, so um, yeah. Expect more videos to come, and uh, thanks for watching. Take it easy.